Hello everyone, I am in Denver, Colorado this week and uh, over the last couple of months I've had a lot of questions about photo education, photo edu, workshops, teaching, etc. And I can finally say for the first time in a long time that yes, I am going to be teaching here in the near, near future, but I need to give you a little history. I've got some my trusty notes here. So. In 1997, I was working for Kodak Professional in Los Angeles. Uh, I was in charge of photographers in the Western region. And my boss called me and said, do you know that we help support the Santa Fe Photographic Workshops? And I said, I'd heard that, but I didn't know the details. And he said, well, as a, as a trade, we get slots at the workshops for Kodak employees. Do you want to go? And I initially thought he was kidding because it just sounded too good to be true. They were going to fly me out there, put me in a hotel, and pay for me to take a workshop, uh, which I did. And I took a workshop with a guy named Chris Rainier. And if you don't know Chris Rainier, you should look him up. I think he has a new book out. Um, his work's pretty, pretty fantastic. I took this workshop and I learned about photography and I made some pictures. But the one thing that stuck with me from this workshop was someone else that I met in the workshop, a fellow student. And that was almost 25 years ago. And I just talked to this student last week. So I made basically a lifelong friend from being in this workshop. The following year, my boss calls me and says the same thing. We have free slots. Do you want to go back and take another workshop? And I said, no, because I feel like I'm hogging this. This should go to somebody else. And he said to me, nobody else has signed up. So I went back. I was supposed to take a workshop with David Allen Harvey, who was a National Geographic photographer. And he had a conflict at the last minute. And the person who stepped in was a guy named Rob Kendrick. Rob stepped in. I didn't know him. I knew his work, but I didn't know him personally. And something very interesting happened during this workshop. I realized that the workshop itself for me was not necessarily about photography. And I know that sounds crazy. I had researched a story to do during the week and it was a really good story. And I walked away with about half a dozen images that I still use from time to time that I think are very solid. So I felt photographically that I did okay. But what I realized at the end of the week was I would, I would have still been happy had I not even picked up a camera the entire week. And let me explain that because the conversation I had with Rob what really changed my photographic life. Rob and I talked about what it meant to be a photographer and what it meant to work as a photographer. And we talked about things like the ratio between commercial and personal work, how to use personal work, how to market and sort of brand myself in a commercial way without giving up on my personal photography and personal life. I walked away from that work workshop with my head peeled back because I realized this was not, it was a photographic workshop, but it really wasn't about making pictures. And I've always tried to keep that with me when I move forward and when I teach workshops. So fast forward, I've worked for Blurb for 11 years. I have done many, many, many book workshops over the years. I'll continue to do these. They are random, somewhat random, and, um, and they come up when people reach out and say, can you come and teach a workshop? But in addition, going back to the early 2000s, I was also teaching photographic workshops, both in Santa Fe, in Santa Fe, New Mexico, which has an amazing workshop program. But I was also teaching in Latin America with a guy named Adam Weintraub, who runs something called Photo Experience Workshops. And he's based in both Seattle and Peru. And we were teaching primarily in Peru. And I did that for years. And then I finally kind of got a little fatigued by the whole thing. My blurb life was taking over and I sort of went away from workshops. But something very interesting happened last year. Uh, I actually went to Albania in May of last year as a student to take a workshop with Elena Spiro, who's a friend from Los Angeles, a fine art photographer, and someone who's uh, of Albanian descent and had been transitioning out in and out of the country since the early 90s when Albania opened up after being isolated for 40 years. I went as a student. So I have a four-year degree in photojournalism. I worked as a photographer for 25 years. I've been around photography for the last 11 with Blurb, and yet I went as a student. And I have to say, it was one of the most important things in recent memory for me in terms of my own photographic career, if you will. And there was a reason for that. The first reason was that going as a student was a way for me to completely and utterly unplug. When I landed in Albania, I took my cell phone, turned it off, put it in my suitcase, and I did not look at it for about 10 days. That in itself was wonderful. And much of the time we were on the move, I was not checking email. I was really isolated. And that to me was very symbolic of where I was and what I was trying to do. And when you unplug for 10 days, it is completely and utterly rebooting your battery. The second thing that happened was it just allowed me to a, a time frame to create. I had no grand photographic goal. I had developed a technique that I wanted to experiment with in Albania, which is the double exposure. And I'll show you a couple of these now. These were pictures that I thought were representative of the old Albania, the new Albania, etc. 
but I was just creating. I was writing, I was doing sketches. I mean, I could have easily gone and painted. I could have never touched a camera and been perfectly happy because I was giving myself the opportunity to just ask, what is it I'm trying to do creatively? The next thing was that it allowed me to react to things that I would typically not react to. I'm not a landscape photographer, but at one point in the trip, we ended up up in the Albanian Alps, which are some of the most remarkable mountains I have ever seen in my life, and I live in the mountains. I'm not a landscape photographer, but what it did was allow me to say, okay, that's fine, I'm not a landscape photographer, but you're here and you better make something while you're here. And it forced me to jump through hoops I would typically never jump through. And that was so, again, it was, it was a reward just to be there. Uh, and finally, knowing me, I was able to build a magazine in real time as I went, but most importantly, I was able to shoot every day, edit, sequence, design the magazine, and then sit with Elena and have her look at my work from the perspective of a fine art photographer. I'm not a fine art photographer, I'm a photojournalist historically, and she is from the art world more, more so than even the photography world. So to have someone like that be able to sit one-on-one -on -one at the end of every day and say, have you thought about this? Have you thought about how these images link together? Have you thought about why that image works in a sequence was fantastic because normally I don't get that opportunity. So I had such an amazing time in Albania that when Elena reached out, a few months ago and said, what do you think about coming back as a co-instructor for the same workshop? I immediately said, yes, I would love to do that. So in May of 2020, I'll be going back to Albania and teaching. As of today, we have two workshops on the, on the list uh, and I will be running the sort of um, publication side of it. So I'll be helping people design, edit, sequence and make publications, probably magazines from their experience in Albania. So if you've never taken a workshop, they are rewarding in way more uh, interesting ways than the actual photography that comes out of it. It's not something I thought about on the surface. It took me years to figure this out, but workshops are not necessarily about pressing the button, believe it or not. It's about being creative, being open-minded, reacting, and, and just learning who you are as a creative. So if you're feeling adventurous, I'll include the link below, and uh, maybe I'll see you in Albania.